Grandmaster Mr. Harrington, Grand Lodge officers, Masons, and friends. Every clan has its stories, from its origins to its heroes and heroines, its triumphs, and yes, even its downfalls. And every good Scot knows their family tartan. But what about our other clan tartan? Not one associated with the region from which we hail, but the tartan that belongs to a clan we've chosen, that upholds the same ideals to which we ascribe ourselves. The tartan of our Masonic clan looks unlike any I've ever seen. It has threads of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet that represent the magic rainbow girls find in our everyday lives through the color stations and their meanings. There are threads of purple, white, blue, red, and gold, capturing the essence of our sibling Masonic youth organizations, our brethren in Dee Malay and our sisters in Job's Daughters, who share with us the future of your respective organizations. The red and black of our Shriners we have so much fun working with, the blue, yellow, white, green, and red of Eastern Star, and the red and green of Amaranth, our advisors who help us to reach our goals, and who could forget the black leather threads of our rough and tough widow's sons. But at the very heart of our Masonic tartan lies the blue and white threads of our Masonic fathers, both genetic and the rainbow dads we have come to know and love. Our master masons, without whom none of our organizations would exist, providing us with a place to call home and to write our own stories. Who is the most famous rainbow girl you know? Is it Lee Merriweather, former Miss America and the 1966 Catwoman? Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to be appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Honorable Olympia Snow, former Senator from Maine. Dorothy Metcalf Lindenberger, a NASA astronaut. Sergeant Kimberly Munley, who was instrumental in stopping the shootings at Fort Hood in 2009. Jasmine Fenlater, currently serving on the U.S. Olympic bobsled team or maybe little Larry McLean, presidential florist. All of these women prove that rainbow girls can accomplish anything, and it's because of the support we receive from the many groups that make up the Masonic family. My motto this year is though we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one, Albus Dumbledore. I am from the land of rainbow, and you hail from a nation of masonry, or maybe even the territory of Funky Town. Each of our organizations exists within their own world. We have our own traditions and experiences, but we are all one family, joined together by a common thread, better character through service. You are role models for the Rainbow Girls of Alaska. We see the fun you have and the pride you take in all you do. During the installation of an Assembly's Advisory Board, our Rainbow Adults agreed to never take a step they would not have us follow. Whether or not you've served on an advisory board, you have had an impact on the Rainbow Girls of Alaska. Your lessons help them grow to be even more remarkable than they already are. I may not know many of you personally, but I know that on the whole, the Grand Lodge of Alaska is amazing because your Masonic youth are amazing. We may be small, Rainbow, Dee Malay, and Job's daughters, but the Masonic youth groups in Alaska are filled with young ladies and gentlemen who love what they do, have fun doing it, and do it well. You, as the sponsors of chapters, Bethels, and assemblies, have raised some incredible kids. Your support of the Masonic youth groups makes a lasting impression upon us. We remember the parades with Shriners, Rainbow Dad's minutes of Masonic trivia, and decorating for events with the Eastern Star Ladies and Gentlemen, each donating their time and talents to improve us and our projects. You enable us to continue doing what we do, and through the memories each of us make with you, we grow to join your organizations and work with you side by side. I can never thank the members of my Eastern Star Chapter and Masonic Lodge enough for everything that they have done for me and my assembly, as I'm sure each of you do for the assembly, Bethel, or Dean Lay Chapter near you. My grandfather and Mason, David DeLong, was not able to see me join Rainbow. Because of that, I greatly value the contributions of Mr. Claude Roberts, Mr. Stephen Stewart, and our first and second brand rainbow dads, Mr. Jack Morris and Mr. John Barnett, for everything they do for my assembly and the Grand Assembly of Alaska, as well as Juno's new Dee Malay. From the bottom of the heart of every Masonic youth, thank you. This year, we attempted to more specially recognize our Masonic heritage by creating the Grand Masters class. New Rainbow Girls initiated during two weeks in November. Both Fairbanks and Nugget Assemblies were able to host initiations, and Olivia and Micaiah are the first Grand Masters class. 
Kyle might be here tonight. This year, for our, <coughs> this year, for our grand service project, we are working with our Scottish Rite Masons in support of their Rite Care program, which serves children with hearing and language disorders. Together with this statewide organization, each assembly will be working with deaf and hard of hearing organizations within each town. Through these projects, I'm hoping to decrease the stigma surrounding those with hearing loss, as well as educate the girls. If you are on that new fancy internet thing, Alaska's brand Facebook page has um, regular posts about deaf culture and sign language videos, some of which are performed by me. We are also collecting coins this year for our grand charity project in order to donate to the International Order of the Rainbow for Girls Supreme Temple Fund to help maintain the history, memories, and future of our organization at the Supreme Temple in McAllister, Oklahoma. Grandworthy Associate Advisor Janelle and I visited the temple in July and made an awesome video tour. The founding lessons of our order and the stories of our past contained within the walls of our Supreme Temple are our anchors. They help to ground us when, like in our crazy teenage years, we sometimes forget who we are, what we stand for, and where we are going, even from as far away as Alaska. Rainbow was very happy to have our Supreme Temple recently listed on the National Registry of Historic Places, and our goal is to raise at least $500 for the fund, and our donation will be dedicated to the memory of our past Supreme Inspector, Mrs. Isla Hammond, who passed away in December. The only fundraising we are doing is collecting coins, so I will have a piggy bank with me throughout your sessions if you would like to donate any loose change you may have. I'm so glad to be here on behalf of all the Alaska Rainbow Girls, and I invite you down to Juneau for Alaska's 52nd Grand Assembly, June 23rd through the 27th at the Baranoff Hotel. We always love to see visitors on the sideline, even if only for a session or two. Without your support, our Grand Assembly could never happen, and we love to share our enthusiasm with you. On behalf of Supreme Deputy Mrs. Hazelton and myself, we wish you most successful Grand Lawn session. Thank you.